Hashiman, kill! The front rank of Shido exploded. There was no other way to put it. Cotton sore clad shapes burst apart in sprays of blood and flesh. Flows of Sidene reached through that thick mist, darting from figure to figure in the blink of an eye. And the next row of Shido died, then the next, and the next. Staring at the slaughter, Ran swallowed. Another rank died. The bloody ruins of human beings began to make a wall. Perrin knocked aside a stabbing spear with his axe, slashed at another Aiel with a spike on the backswing, caught a spearhead with his hand, unmindful of the bloody gash it made, split a black-veiled face. He did not think they were going to last much longer. Every part of him centered on staying alive for one heartbeat more. Almost every part. One corner of his mind held an image of Fayil and the sad thought that he would not be able to apologize for not coming back to her. On a day of fire and blood, a tattered banner waved above Dumai's wells, bearing the ancient symbol of Aes Sedai. On a day of fire and blood and the one power, as prophecy had suggested, the unstained tower broken, bent knee to the forgotten sign. The first nine Aes Sedai swore fealty to the dragon reborn, and the world was changed forever.